ads which arise in the film are unavoidable, unavoidable really. Not unlike the imagery of Christ. Suckers. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I have my presentation uh, somewhere. One sec. I will be analyzing estrangement in terms of text and film, and we will proceed by diagram. center of the diagram, the role of film which is running through the triangle is supposed to capture the mise en abeam nature of the film. Each subsequent frame becomes the television in the one earlier. Then we compare the existential objective to the experiential objective which runs in the other direction. Wait, so I'm sorry if you said this and my mind was just wandering in other places, but could you explain to me why you understood estrangement as a triangle? Well, the advantage of the triangle is that my idea is sort of like estrangement is a kind of rerouting of behavior, attention, truth, what have you, through this mediating figure, and then down into the idea, which also interacts with the locus of text and film. And we can't really go directly, which is why we have this X here. Uh, that's a symbology. I mean, I guess it could be a pentagon. Oh my god, I need a bigger diagram. Max, that was very rich. I love how you took us into a completely new dimension. Uh, but in the interest of time, we need to move on to April's presentation. Let's take a break. What'd you think? Um, it was good. I, to be honest, I missed most of it because I was in the bathroom. But um, yeah, a weird thing happened, I guess. When I went to the bathroom, Penny came out, and when I left, she was still in the room, right? Yeah, she was in the room watching my presentation. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't really know what to make of that. I mean, it, you should have stayed. <laughs> So, I thought that it would be best if we started off with the clip um, and then perhaps to talking about the differences or even similarities for the subject matter between the text and the clip.
I, I, I was just thinking, though, in terms of the protagonist and consciousness itself, I think it was very ambiguous as to where it actually, where it, it was in reality or outside of reality, and especially in terms of time. I think it's almost an atemporal moment in, in the film and also in the text, which I'm, I'm not sure if I've actually processed what that means yet. I was wondering if you guys have any ideas on that. Well, I'm so glad you chose this particular clip because it really shows me, seeing it out of context, how much the filmmaker owes towards Antonioni and the, his characterization of female protagonists who are always alienated and estranged from their environments. And he uses the objective correlative in such important ways. And here in this scene, I mean, we see that the character's surroundings are totally sort of externalized, this existential emptiness that, that, that is her life. April. 